One of my biggest fears is the thought of being happily married one day with a beautiful, healthy family, but feeling as though I didn't truly appreciate my younger, freer years. These years are about solitude, oneness, even loneliness at times. These years are about freedom and audacious dreaming and risk-taking and building a loving, healthy foundation with God first. These years are about showing up for myself as the woman I've always wanted to be, for me first, before it could possibly be for a man and a family. I often think about how many of us spend these beautiful, youthful years dreaming about a partner and a family that will likely soon come, without stopping to realize we were given the life of our dreams already, in this very moment. I'm terrified to let society pressure me into becoming the woman who is only worthy as an attachment to someone else, so I relish in every single moment that belongs to me only. This was a poem I wrote several years before Ahmed and I got married, and honestly, these words ring true today more than ever. I still regularly make time for myself. So in this vlog, I'll be sharing with you what it looks like to spend some quality time with myself in hopes that it inspires you to do the same. <sighs> I just had a great workout, great morning routine. I feel like people in healthy relationships would never admit music just doesn't hit the same anymore. SZA's album, Summer Walker's album. I guess I could multitask while I talk because I am supposed to be doing my makeup. I wanted to document what a weekend in my life looks like when I am alone. I am alone right now because Ahmed is out of town on a work trip. Me celebrating my alone time and me cherishing and kind of like reminiscing on my single days is not me saying that my life was better without him. It's me saying that it is very natural and normal to miss the moments where I had me to myself. And that's just what I want you to think about like throughout this video is one day you will be in a happy relationship. One day you, if you want kids, you will have a beautiful family and you will miss having you to yourself. So I'm gonna take you along with me. Being in awe of my alone time is something that I was super intentional about in my 20s. Honestly, it taught me to be self-reliant. It taught me to be strong. It taught me to really be able to lean on myself emotionally. And that's not to say that it's not okay to lean on other people emotionally, but I just think it's a very healthy tool to be able to lean on yourself in the case that other people aren't cutting it, or in the case that other people don't understand you the way that you understand yourself, because hello, you're the only one who's been in this body for the entirety of your life. The ironic thing that happened is, now that I'm in a healthy relationship, I'm able to coach Ahmad on how to best support and love me, because I have literally become the expert on that. The song is so on point. Look what just came on. This is definitely not my single soundtrack, but I just found it funny. Silan, would you like to introduce yourself to the audience? Hey guys, my name is Silan Falala. I also go by Cece. I'm 24 years old. Taurus Sun, Aquarius Moon, Scorpio Rising, <gasps> Cancer Venus. Do you remember my top Yeah. Rima is a Libra Sun, if that wasn't obvious. <laughs> <laughs> Aquarius Rising. Gemini moon, scary. And what's my Venus? Scorpio? Scorpio yeah. Venus. Look at you. You want to talk about scary, bro? I know, but cancers annoy me. Sorry, guys. All my best friends have been cancers, so just don't be mad. This is the human being that has made me a real life big sister. So you guys have her to think. I was birthed for her. Yeah, my parents basically had her so that I could have a friend. She is seven years younger than me. She never, ever, ever, ever wears makeup. But today we're gonna put a little bit of makeup on her. Yeah. But look at how perfect. Smaller, 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 smaller. Yes, yeah, smaller. Smaller. wood. Okay, so we're gonna put some makeup on her, cause why? Starting modeling, um, and I'm taking my digitals today. Show them your cheekbones. Look at those cheekbones, so perfect, smaller. Prime your face, it's just moisture. There's nothing in this. Yeah, there is. <laughs> Wait, do I put it on my hands? Put it on your hands, spread it, just do it as if you were How doing many like face lotion. I would do like one generous pump. You're so funny. Don't drop that, don't do My face is already moisturized, that's fine, right? Yeah, primer, like it primes your face for makeup. Welcome to my channel. Okay, I'm gonna start with just a little bit. 
Today I'm getting my makeup done by this makeup specialist I hired in-house. Let me tell you how I'm a specialist. Her name is Rima. She does in-house calls, which I love because I hate leaving because I'm a Taurus. Oh my god, you sound like an annoying influencer. I know, that's so cool. I feel like the Barbie. I'm a doll, but I still want to party. Pink felt like I'm ready to bend. I'm a 10, so I pull in a 10. Like, Debbie. Stay sweet. If I wore makeup, it'd be over for bitches. It would be. You're welcome. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, is it Matthew so fuck? weird? Like, yeah, he, what is? Well, honestly, when they just showed the part with him and AD, I was like, he has a complex, but like, but he, but maybe you felt he really bad likes for him. Yeah. yeah. Let's look at the final look. It's like her <laughs> accentuated, <laughs> featuring Troy. <laughs> Thanks guys. Wow. Love you. Have fun. <laughs> Can't wait for you to be my sugar mama. Same. the next two steps so in case i want to do it differently you're just gonna mix both those things with ice not you okay, trying to ocd my glass. language what i want to see the glass okay but i need the video to see the glass it's way more important okay fine i think you should remove a little bit of ice no yeah i think you overdid the ice no 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 i didn't it's not gonna even fill the whole thing with this and the milk okay fine vibes take out an ice cube you need all the coffee <sighs> Fine, bitches. <laughs> That's the you were right face. Is that why you're laughing? <laughs> yeah. Let me try it. Mushy. Hi, baby. Hi, little baby. I miss you. Today has been insanely productive. That is not a coincidence. Being alone makes you so much more productive. And obviously, like you're just more in control of your day. This is called the top three notebook. I'm gonna cover the stain that I dropped my coffee on the other day, but it's like this really pretty fabric. And it was actually created by one of my good friends and my favorite YouTuber, Erin On Demand. So basically she had this system where she would do her top three things that day to keep it simple. I'm telling you about this because number one, shout out Erin. Number two, I've been doing something really funny. At the bottom of the notebook, there's a reward. I don't know about you, but I don't have any problem rewarding myself. Like, in fact, I reward myself a little bit too much. And so I'm like, I don't know what my reward should be. Every day it really just ended up being like Netflix and chill. But it's like, you're only supposed to reward yourself if you check off all three of your top three. And so even on the days where I wasn't doing that, I'm like, I'm not gonna not watch Netflix and chill at the end of the night. So the rewards were essentially ineffective for me. So what I've started doing is creating a point system. Each top three is three points. However, on the days that I do all three, I get an extra point. So the most amount of points that I can get in a day is 10 points. Now here's where it gets interesting. I have linked these points to Sephora dollars to keep my spending under control and to also incentivize me to get the things done. Because most of the days it's like linked to YouTube videos or linked to working out. So it's always pushing me closer to like the two most important goals in my life right now, which is my content creation career and my health. On any given day, if I do all three of those things, I'm a few steps closer towards that goal and I deserve $10 at Sephora. So on any given week, the most points that I can get is 70 points, obviously, but because I didn't go last week, I tallied up the last couple of weeks and I actually have $105 to spend at Sephora. So I'm about to eat my lunch and then right after that, I have a nail appointment and then I'm gonna head over to Sephora so we can see what I am able to redeem with $105. I can't wait to show you what I end up getting. Alright, I have no clue what color I'm getting. I love this color. It's kind of like a little matte champagne, but I'm wondering if maybe I should go like this brown
target runs by yourself with no pressure. I'm tired. Okay, that was a lot of fun. Vlogging in downtown LA, I will say, is not really the vibe. I feel like I needed to be so aware of my surroundings that I just didn't want to like vlog my walk. And when I did on the way to the nail place, some guy literally followed me from outside of my apartment all the way to the nail place in his car, just literally trying to talk to me. And I had like RBF and kept ignoring him. It was really annoying and it was honestly really embarrassing. So I'm like, let me just put this camera away and not draw attention to myself. But anyway, let's get into what I got. I'm gonna start with Sephora because it's the most exciting. I kind of cheated because I had $10 in Sephora cash. So I was able to spend a tiny bit more using that $10 credit. So I got this. I've been wanting to try this literally forever. I was brand loyal to the Huda Beauty resting boss face. And I literally ran out like a few months ago and I kept like spraying the last little spritz that, that was left, but she discontinued it. And I'm so upset about that. So I heard this one is great. So we're gonna give it a try. I got the mini size of the Glow Recipe Toner. I got the Dew Drops in full size. Got the Laneige Lip Glowy Balm, and I got it in peach. And then last but certainly not least, <laughs> I got this, um, this hand sanitizer. I love, 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 love this hand sanitizer. I always have one of these with me in my purse. But baddies, this was literally over $105, like just for this stuff right here. I'm telling you, man, my Sephora trips used to be so unhinged. My brother put me onto this brand. It's called Legendary. They have like really good protein products. I've never tried this flavor of Pop-Tart, but I used to be obsessed with the brown sugar Pop-Tarts back in the day. Also got the Legendary chips. So it's pizza flavored. I tried these in barbecue and they were bomb, but they didn't have the barbecue. So we're trying the pizza. Bonza pizza. It's a protein pizza is honestly bomb. Get this kind though, the cheese kind. I've tried a lot of yogurts, these are the best. This is the bomb.com. It's sugar-free liquid IV and it's in the flavor peach. Peach only comes in sugar-free and it's literally my favorite. It tastes literally like a juice. The candles were on sale. So I got two for the price of one and I'm doing my little alone time vibe. I need a candle. So we tried this one last time. It's the dark amber oud. It's pronounced oud, not oud. And then I'm trying this new one, which is coconut sandalwood. It smells really good, really fresh. Today is my cheat day and I'm really excited about it. I'm trying to decide between Chick-fil-A and Popeyes. So we'll see. On a real note, today has been so much fun. I got so much done. Honestly, like this is what my life used to look like. And I'll just tell you basically how my days used to go when I was in intentionally single. I was working all day, so I would drive to Ann Arbor, Michigan, which was 45 minutes away, work from pretty much nine to five, go straight to the gym, post up at the cafe in the gym, study for my GMAT for at least an hour or an hour and a half. So that would put me at like 7 p.m. And I would just grind, like study so hard for my GMAT because I was trying to get into business school. After I was done studying in the cafe, and I chose to do that at the cafe gym so that I could force myself to work out basically because I was already there, I would work out from like 7 to 8, 7 to 8.30. Drive home, eat something really quick, and just like light a candle, watch Netflix. I was home alone. I had the whole house to myself during this time. I was living back at my parents' house. There was just this blissful silence every night. And it was this routine that I had grown so accustomed to. And every single night, my favorite part of the whole entire day was that few minutes when I would get into bed, my covers would be nice and cold and I would feel so cozy and things would get so quiet and I would just look forward to like watching something before I went to sleep and just basking in that solitude. After several nights like that, it just dawned on me that I wasn't gonna have that ever again in the same way once I ended up in a relationship and once I grew a family one day. And so from that day on, once I realized that, I made it a point to be very present and intentionally grateful for that time. To just be so excited about the fact that I I was basking in my solitude intentionally. And because I loved my solitude, I got to a place where I just cherished it so much. I became so crazy intentional about who I allowed into that space. That's what I want for you. I do not want you to look at being single as this condition that you need rescuing from. I don't want you to look at it as this really sad place that you're in and you need someone to come and save you and pull you out of it. I want you to take control of this period of your life and just make it exactly what you want it to be, regardless your circumstance. I was still living in my hometown, in my parents' home, you know, like I didn't have the job that I wanted. I 
you know, had broken up with a toxic ex. And my dad had just passed away. My grandma had just passed away. Like things in my life were not glamorous at that point in time. And I found so much joy in the tiniest, tiniest things. I can guarantee if you're watching this, the things that I found joy in were things that you have. I'm assuming you have a bed. I'm assuming you have the freedom to go to sleep and ha enjoy a decent night's sleep. I'm assuming you have little moments that you can carve out that are only for you. I'm assuming you have some sort of entertainment. Clearly YouTube is one of them or Netflix, like something that you can enjoy in your solitude. I can't stress that enough. Now that I'm in a healthy relationship, I'm so grateful for the version of me that was wise enough to really make the most of my singlehood, to really make the most of my solitude. So much so that I, I sometimes miss that period. I miss having me to myself. Of course I miss my husband now that he's gone for the weekend, but I'm like, this is so much fun. Like I miss doing this. I miss not having to ask someone what to order. I miss not having to ask someone what he wants to watch every night. Like it feels so good to go to Sephora and Target and just be on my own and kind of recreate the vibes that I was so familiar with at one point in my life. So please, if you take nothing else from this vlog, I really hope you enjoyed it. But if you take nothing else from it, it's don't rush. Don't rush, have fun, enjoy this period. I'm about to clean this little mess up, order my food. You're gonna watch my evening routine, which is literally my favorite freaking part of the whole entire day. I've had so much fun sharing this part of my life with you and I would love to do more of these. Drop a comment below, let me know what you would like to see more of. I love you so much. As always, stay powerful, my loves. And more importantly, have fun.